This video explains how to fix your printer when you have a carriage jam error message on your computer or on your printer's control panel. Turn the printer off and then on again. This will sometimes fix the issue. Press the power button to turn the printer off. If the printer doesn't turn off, it probably has a paper jam, which we'll talk about shortly. If it turns off, wait 60 seconds and then turn it back on again. This resets the print mechanism. Wait for the printer to turn on and stop making noise. Once the printer is back on, try printing a self-test page to see if you get the message again. First, make sure the main paper tray is loaded with paper. Press and hold the cancel button. Then press the start color copy button. If a self-test page prints, you're done. If it doesn't, try the next step. Is the printer still not working right? A paper jam might cause your carriage jam. Clear the paper jam from the back of the printer first. Remove the paper from the input tray, then turn the printer on. While the printer is still on, unplug the power cord from the back of the printer. Press in the tab on the left side of the rear access door and take the door off. You should be able to see the jammed paper in the rollers. Gently remove it. Make sure you get all the pieces that might tear off. When you've removed the paper, replace the rear access door and move around to the front of the printer. Check to see if paper is jammed in the front. Be careful when removing paper from the front. It can damage the printer. Lower the paper tray and open the cartridge door. Gently remove any paper you see. Again, make sure you get all the small pieces that may tear off. Use a flashlight to make sure you've removed all small pieces from inside the printer. When you've removed the paper, close the cartridge door. Plug the power cord back in. and turn on the printer. The printer will reset itself. As it resets, you will hear the printer preparing to print again. It may take longer than it usually does to turn back on. Try printing a self-test page again by pressing and holding the cancel button and then press the start color copy button once. If a self-test page prints, you're done. If it doesn't, try the next step. Still not working? Sometimes the carriage is stuck and you have to give it a push. Unplug the power cord from the back of the printer. Go to the front, open the cartridge door and find the carriage. Clear any paper or obstructions from the carriage path. If there is nothing in the way, push it until it moves. Use your hands, not any tools. It may require substantial force to make it move. After you've moved the carriage, look around for additional obstructions. Close the cartridge door, plug the power cord back into the printer, turn the printer back on. Print a self-test page again by pressing and holding the cancel button and then pushing the start color copy button once. If a self-test page prints, you're done. If it doesn't, try the next step. Sometimes, installing the print cartridges incorrectly can make the carriage stall. If you've recently installed new cartridges, just remove them and put them back in again. Start by opening the cartridge door. The print carriage moves to the right side of the printer. Wait for the carriage to stop moving and then gently push down on each cartridge. The cartridge releases so you can remove it from the printer. Be careful. Do not touch the copper-colored electrical contacts or ink nozzles, as this can cause clogs, ink failure, and poor electrical connections. Make sure that each cartridge is in the correct slot. Tricolor on the left, 
black or photo on the right. Use your opposite hand to hold the printer in place while you replace the cartridge into the slot with the HP logo facing the ceiling. Gently but firmly, push it straight in until it pops into place. Do not use the top of the printer for leverage. This can cause the carriage to lift out of position and jam the carriage. After replacing the cartridges, unplug the power cord from the back of the printer. Move the print cartridge carriage from side to side to ensure it will move freely. Close the cartridge door. Plug the power cord back in. And turn on the printer. Print a self-test page again by pressing and holding the cancel button and then pushing the start color copy button once. If a self-test page prints, you're done. If it doesn't, try the next step. If the error message still displays, it might not be the printer. The power supply might be the issue. To find out, unplug the power cord from the printer and the power strip. Then, plug it into a wall outlet. Then, back into the printer. Turn the printer back on. Print a self-test page again by pressing and holding the cancel button and then pushing the start color copy button once. If a self-test page prints, you're done. If it doesn't, try the next step. In this step, we'll perform a hard reset. Take the paper out of the input tray. Then, make sure the printer is turned on. Disconnect the USB cable from the back of the printer and open the cartridge door. Wait for the carriage to stop, then take the cartridges out. Close the cartridge door. And unplug the power cord from the printer. Wait 60 seconds, then plug the power cord back in. Turn the printer back on. Open the cartridge door. and reinstall the print cartridges. After replacing the cartridges, unplug the power cord from the back of the printer. Move the print cartridge carriage from side to side to ensure it will move freely. Close the cartridge door. Plug the power cord back into the printer. Then, reconnect the USB cable. And load your paper. Print a self-test page again by pressing and holding the cancel button and then pushing the start color copy button once. If a self-test page prints, you're done. If it doesn't, try the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer.